Sachin, as you know, has a 49 ODI centuries, each a gem in its own right. So imagine how tough it would be if one is asked to pick his top five ODI knocks. But we at NDTV have tried to do so. See if you agree with our list. The countdown begins with the time when the master announced his arrival in one day cricket. His first innings as an opener way back in 1994 turned out to be a nightmare for New Zealand as he smashed a 49 ball 82. Our unforgettable moment number 9 are the rivalries Sutton had. When the pigeon told Sutton how to fly, or when Sutton taught Bretley how to be lethal. At number 8 is the innings in which Sutton crossed 17,000 ODI runs. If that wasn't enough, he went on to blast 175. But alas, it was heartbreak for a billion people. India lost by 3 runs chasing Australia's 350. At number 7 is how the then 26-year-old Sutton coped with the passing away of his father, Professor Ramesh Tendulkar. Sutton attended the final rituals but returned for an emotional 141 of 101 balls against Kenya, one that he dedicated to his father. At number 6 are the two innings that gave India its first one day series win in Australia. Sutton's 117 not out and 91 in the CB series finals left Australia and Adam Gilchrist wondering what they should do with him. At number 5 is the April Fool's Day in 1998 when Sutton fooled the Aussies in Kochi. Australia had India on the match but Sutton juggled his way to a 5-4 and Australia went from 203 for 3 to 268 all out. Sutton's demolition act of Shoei Bakhtar and Pakistan in 2003 is at number 4. Sutton may have missed the century in Centurion in his 98 but it is more than enough to take India to the semi-finals of the World Cup. At number 3 are the two desert storms that hit Australia in Sharjah. The Bombay Bomber first took India to the finals with a mind-blowing 143 and then in the finals he scored 134. Shane Warne later joked he had nightmares of Sachin. It took close to 3,000 one days for one man to cross the 200-run barrier. For that, Sachin Tendulkar's record-breaking 200 versus South Africa in Gwalior is our number two. It prompted the original little master to bow to a man 24 years younger to him. But who wouldn't? After all, the god of Indian cricket has a century of centuries. In what was said to be his last World Cup, Sachin Tendulkar baffled and bullied England and South Africa with a century each. India still didn't win those matches. But finally, after a career spanning 21 years, 6 World Cups and 630 matches in all forms of the game for India, the god of cricket was finally blessed. India won the World Cup for Sachin. At number 1, Sachin makes our choice easy, calling it the ultimate thing himself. For you, Sachin, the World Cup was the ultimate thing, but for us, you will always be the ultimate.